Preseason testing is over. Lewis Hamilton says Mercedes aren't fast enough to be challenging for victories. He said the same thing in 2017, 18, 19, 20 and 21. I predict he is a liar. Before testing even began, as the cars were being rolled out onto the grid for promotional photographs, people noticed there was something strange about the Mercedes. It had no side pods. People lost their minds. Red Bull chief designer Adrian Newey said, What in the fuck type of witchcraft is this shit? He didn't say that. Haas F1 missed half a day of testing because their plane was delayed. Official sources claim an angry blonde-haired Russian boy chained himself to the wheels of the plane before it could take off. Nikita Mazepin, after being dropped by the team, has set up a foundation to help Russian athletes. A foundation. Who else started a foundation? Daniel Ricciardo missed the entire three days because he was sick. Alpine said if Daniel was still sick for the race next Sunday, they would lend McLaren their reserve driver, Oscar Piastri. If you don't know who he is, he won the F2 championship last year, the F3 championship the year before that, and yet, his only chance of driving a Formula 1 car is if somebody gets the shit. So Verstappen goes fastest while Mercedes struggle with a bouncy car. Ferrari looks strong, but they'll find a way to fuck that up. McLaren can't keep the brakes cool, and I couldn't be bothered to research what happened to the rest of the teams. So what's going to happen this year? George Russell outperforms Lewis Hamilton. This, in combination with what Verstappen did last year, means Lewis Hamilton's fans will finally snap and murder their entire families. After the rich energy and now the Uralkali disaster, Haas F1 continue their tradition of doing business with dodgy companies by signing Jeffrey Epstein's Island as their new title sponsor. Charles Leclerc gets permanently trapped inside his banana costume and has to sit out the entire season. Gunter Steiner finally snaps, fires the entire team, and driving both of the cars himself, claims the Drivers' and Constructors' World Championships. Spain, France, Austria, Monaco, Imola, Hungary, Spa, Monza, and the Dutch Grand Prix will all be cancelled because Vladimir Putin blows up half of Europe. Paul de Resta ruins at least three races by commentating on them. Michael Massey hijacks a plane and flies it into the Pentagon. Alex Albon gets replaced mid-season by a table. The Miami Grand Prix is won by a porn star riding a crocodile. When George Russell laps Valtteri Bottas for the first time, Valtteri will shed a single tear and then drive his Alfa Romeo flat out into the Mercedes pit wall. Sebastian Vettel continues growing his hair and beard before he achieves his final form before retiring from F1 to start a death cult. The word poor will be made illegal and using it will be punishable by death. At some point, even if Mercedes and Red Bull aren't as closely matched as last season, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen will go wheel to wheel, causing a crash, creating so much controversy it rips a hole through the very fabric of time and space, into which our entire reality will fall. To summarise, Gunter Steiner, world champion, Vladimir Putin blows up half the world, and we all get sucked into a black hole.